Okay, um, so I'm gonna try and do a quick run through on how to do cut and print. I've seen several people saying that they don't really know how to do this. So I'm gonna try, I know there's other videos out there, but um, even when I was learning how to do this, there weren't that many. So I'm gonna try and do this um, as simply as I can. Um, so print and cut is something that you're gonna do um, when you want to have a more precise cut with your decal. Um, and it's going to be a printable image, uh, one that you can't really make with vinyl only. Um, you can use printable vinyl. Um, you can use water slide. Um, I think those are pretty much what I, I mean, you can do cardstock too, but I never use cardstock. So, um, okay. So I've already got a few things started, but I'm going to go to a new page here. Um, so the first thing you want to do is find an image that you want to, um, do a print and cut with. Um, Let's see, I like, what have I not done yet that I can start from brush? Um, oh, I know what I can do, okay. So, I'm, and I'm also kind of going through this assuming that you're pretty familiar with your silhouette design uh, suite there. So, okay, let me go back to my design. I am going to bring in something from my saved files. Let's do these ABC blocks. I haven't done anything with them yet. Okay, so I'm gonna size this down just a bit. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. I'm not really fancy. I don't have anything to hold my phone. Okay, so I'll size this down to a more reasonable size. Okay, so that's our, our ABC image. I pulled that in. Um, so now I need to trace and detach. So I'm gonna go over here to the trace button, select trace area. And my trace area is going to be the blocks. Um, so you can tell I'm going to have to turn up my threshold a little bit to pick up the blocks. So threshold is over here, and as I adjust it upward, it will fill in the image. And as long as it fills in the outside part, even if it doesn't fill in everything on the inside, that's fine, because we're just going to, when we do trace and detach, it is just going to cut the outside of the image off of the white. Okay. So, it looks like I haven't done anything, but if I click and move my blocks, you can see that they've been removed from the white. And now I can click the white and get rid of it. Alright, so pull my blocks back to the center of the screen. I'm going to select my trace area again which is gonna be my blocks. And this time, oh, I need to make sure and fill it in all the way, so I'm gonna bring my threshold up over here. That's what I'm messing with. Threshold up so that it can, it fills in, because the only thing I'm gonna do is trace the outer edge. So as long as I got it to where it'll trace the outer edge, that's all the threshold I need. So the next thing I'm gonna click is trace outer edge. Okay, now, don't touch anything. <laughs> um, so we've got, you can't really see it well, but there's a red line around the blocks and that's going to be the cut line. Um, we want that to stay with the block. So even if I resize this, the red line should go with it. So I need to um, select all, hang on, one handed working here on a, without a mouse. <laughs> okay, so I need to select both things. It's going to select the blocks and the red line. And then I'm going to go up here to object and I'm going to group the red line and the blocks so that it stays together. Now, now it is considered one item. It will stay together. I'm going to go ahead and resize this because I will use this for something and I don't want it to be that big when I do. What am I going to put this on? I'm probably gonna put this on a kid's cup. So I will bring this really far down to like two inches height. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and do this on printable vinyl. So I'm 
because I'm just doing this as an example, but I'm, I'm going to use it. I normally will I'll put a few things on a one page so I'm not wasting a bunch of paper, but special um, consideration tonight. So, um, okay, so the next thing you're going to do, so this is not going to work yet. Um, there's one other thing you need to do, and you're going to go up here to your page layout button, page setup panel, excuse me. There we go. Okay. <sighs> Clicking too much. Okay. So I've got it all set up where I'm, I use a Cameo 3. So I have the 12 inch cut mat. So you can see that I've got that setting for my cut mat. I've got it. Um, the, what I'm going to be printing on is printable vinyl, which is kind of the standard size page. So that's going to be the letter 8.5 by 11. Um, I've got my cutting mat set for Cameo 12 by 12. Okay, so then you've got to get your cut um, marks put on. So that is going to be this button right here is where it goes. And then you have to go to style. It's always turned off. So you have to manually turn that on and put in which type you're. If your original silhouette, it's down here. But at your Cameo, and this will mess you up. If you do not put the correct setting here, you will not be able to do this. So since I have the Cameo, um, it's going to be here. So that's the Cameo, Portrait, and Curio is that setting. Um, okay. The other thing that you can do, and I'm not sure exactly what the benefit of this is, but you can put a barcode on the image. I'll go ahead and do that so you can see what that looks like. And I don't know if that helps make it a little bit easier. There's probably a reason for this, maybe for people who do like high volume stuff, but you can click that and put a barcode on the image and your, and your cutter will read the barcode. So we'll try that too. No, come on. There we go. So now you can see it's got a barcode on the image as well and the, the cutter is going to read that. Okay. So I need to put some printable vinyl in my printer. I've got to make sure everything's hooked up here. Okay, so printable vinyl I have, um, this is a type that I found on Amazon, um, Photo Paper Direct. It works pretty good. Um, there was a different kind, the Silhouette brand. Um, I like that too. Um, just make sure that you've got it put in the printer the right way. A lot of times I'll check it by lifting up the edge so I can make sure which part is the sticky part because you don't want it printing on the wrong side okay so my printer it goes face down we'll get that in there okay so then I so I've got my print marks on there it's going to print those marks on the page along with the um, the uh, the item. So I'm going to send that to my printer, and I've already got my printer set up on here. Canon. I always like to check my preferences just to make sure it's got the right size paper. It does. Okay, and I'll send that to the printer. And that takes a second, so I'll shut this off for a second. Okay, I'll so this is what it will look like when it comes out of your printer. You'll have the two angle marks on the corners, and you'll have that square on the top uh, left. And then if you want to do the barcode, it's there. Again, I'm not exactly sure how, what that is for, but it works with or without it. Um, okay, so this is print. What I'm using is printable vinyl. So I'm going to be using my cutting, well I'd use a cutting mat even with uh, my water slide too. It, the, settings, the settings would be a little different on my cutting. Sorry about the camera work. Apologize, apologize. Okay, so get my, my paper on the mat and get my um, silhouette loaded.
Sorry, I'm working on, I've really got it. If I'm gonna do these videos, I better get some kind of holder, I think. Okay, so that's loading up. Okay, now we go back to, um, let me see if I can get this closer. So we're gonna go back to our computer. Sorry about the light. Don't know what to do about that. Oh, that helped, okay. Um, okay, I, over here, I'm gonna go, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go to send, to send a printer. Okay, so here's where we have to make the changes. So we're doing um, printable vinyl, so I'm gonna choose vinyl printable. Um, but if you're using water slide, I have used cardstock setting, and that's worked just fine. Um, okay, vinyl printable. Okay, and I have mine set on auto blade. Um, that usually works best for me. Some people like to use ratchet blade for, with their cameo. It's probably fine. Okay, and then I'll click send. And this is what it's gonna look like as it's reading the marks. Okay, now it's gonna go to this clicky thing. Now it's going to cut out my design, my image. Okay. Hang on. I'm so sorry about my really bad camera work, guys, but thank you for your patience. Okay, so I'm going to unload my thing, and what you can see is you've got the image, and it is. So when it where it's cut, hang on a second. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so you can see that it is cut right at the edge. So it's a very nice clean decal with no white. And that's it. I'm gonna keep it on my paper because I will be using this soon. So um, anyways, I hope that helped. I hope that you enjoyed that. And um, if you're using water slide, um, you'll do all of this, except you won't do the cutting part until after you've sealed it. So then you'll, you'll go ahead and spray all your sealer on it, and then you'll take it to the cutting. So um, all right. Happy print and cut. Bye.